Global War 36 enthusiast here with Operation No Time to Die, turn 15.4, the Commonwealth. It is July 1943. The first thing I'm going to do is do the wartime economy role for Knights Templar. Uh, he forgot to do it at the end of his turn, so 2d6. Let's see what he gets. Uh, he rolled a four, so two twos. So I'll add four IPPs to Russia, uh, and that will bring him up to 40 on the nose. Okay, uh, next is two tech rolls for the Commonwealth, uh, radar and wartime economy. On my roll for radar, I rolled a six, so I failed. But amazingly, after 15 turns, the British Commonwealth has wartime economy. Uh, there are five major powers that have wartime economy. Poor USA uh, it still is only on stage two. That is just horrific. Horrific luck. Uh, rolling, taking 15 turns to develop something that should take eight turns is, is horrific luck, so I don't even know the adjective to use for how bad uh, poor Madman Dan's luck has been on Wartime Economy, the most important tech in the whole game. Um, okay, so British purchases. I have 46 IPPs to spend. I'm going to upgrade one militia for two. I'll get two marines for eight, that's ten. One airborne infantry for three, that's 13. Three infantry for nine, that's 22. One cavalry for three, that's 25. Two colonial infantry for eight, that's 33. One naval transport for six, that's 39. One minor port will be upgraded to a major port in Gilbert Islands for four, that's 43. And I'll begin construction of a major dockyard in New Britain for three, bringing me up to 46. FEC, I have 16 IPPs to spend. I'll upgrade one militia for two. I'll purchase one art artillery for four, that's six. I will lend lease one fighter to the KMT for 10, bringing me to 16 IPP. Anzac, I have 12 IPPs to spend. I will get one submarine for six. I will construct a rail on the Bengal Burma border for four. That gets me up to 10 and I'll save the last two IPP. So let's go to combat movement. I think we will go to uh, over here to Australia. I'm having problems here. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move two militia and one infantry from Queensland over here to Northern Australia. It's not worth anything. Uh, but the Japanese no longer hold that. Okay. Um, I will move over here in uh, Vietnam. Okay, I'm going to move this uh, task force marker which contains seven British infantry, six Gurkhas, one Anzac motorized infantry, four British artillery, and one Anzac artillery, two anti-aircraft artillery. So basically everything that's in this task force marker except this Anzac infantry. I'm leaving him back. They will all move into Annam Tonkin uh, to, to fight the one infantry and one artillery for, from Japan. Uh, this one Anzac infantry is going to move into Cochin, China, and that will increase Anzac by one and drop Japan by one. So Anzac will move up to seven, tied with the Free French, and Japan moves down one to 50. Okay. Let's move over to India. Uh, 
I'm going to have one cavalry and one jet fighter from Calcutta will move into Maharashtra. Um, I'll have two Gurkhas move from Haryana into Maharashtra. Notice that that's across a river, but the cavalry is not. All right, now we will shift the theater a bit over here to Transcaucasia. I'm going to have one infantry and one medium armor will move from cars into Transcaucasia. Next, we'll move over to Istanbul. No, you can see Istanbul. I'm going to have that medium bomber fly. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can catch Eastern Egypt, where this medium bomber's flying from. Um, there we go. Okay, so this medium bomber is going to fly one, two, three into Istanbul. This tactical bomber from C Zone 53 will fly one, two into Istanbul. This naval force in 53 is going to move over to 52. So, disregarding the naval transports, just looking at the naval units, just so my opponents can be up to speed. I think you can catch that in the lower left here. There's a light carrier, two battleships, one battle cruiser, four heavy cruisers, one British light cruiser, one Anzac light cruiser, four destroyers, one submarine one coastal defense ship, and two torpedo boat destroyers that are in that fleet. They've moved from 52 over to 53. They're going to be doing some bombardment in on uh, Istanbul. One Anzac naval transport that's in C-Zone 53 there is going to move to C-Zone 81 right here, pick up these two infantry, and then drop them off back here in Istanbul. So that transport moves over there. Okay. Two naval transports that are in 53 are going to pick up one uh, infantry here from cars. Remember, one of, this was an infantry ship. Uh, so one infantry, the two marines. and one anti-aircraft gun from Syria. So that's four, and they're gonna drop all that off in Istanbul. So let's make that be the HMS Coldstone. That'll help out with that amphibious assault. That leaves two naval transports in 53 that haven't moved, but everything there in 52 has moved. Dropping off six units so I can have six bombardments. And then one infantry will just walk from Anatolia over since there's an amphibious assault, I have to take that infantry as my last casualty. I have to take the amphibious uh, assaulting infantry first. Okay, next uh, we'll be switching over to England and France. Okay, up in London, this strategic naval or the strategic bomber will pick up an airborne infantry and fly one, two, three to Alsace Lorraine, um, and then drop it off for an airborne assault. It's empty, so Britain goes up three, Germany goes down three. Computer. Sorry about that. Usually, I uh, remember to get that. Okay. Get the strategic bomber. Okay. One naval transport that's in C Zone 25 is going to pick up one infantry from London and one Marine from British Midlands and move over to C Zone 24 and drop off 
those two units in Normandy. Then all my other naval units that are in C-Zone 24 are going to move over to, I'm sorry, that are in C-Zone 25 are going to move over to C-Zone 24. So I'll have all Commonwealth naval units in C-Zone 24 that were in 25. None of them remain. Just for my opponents, that's one light carrier with a fighter, one battleship, one heavy cruiser, two coastal defense ships, two light cruisers, five British destroyers, and one Anzac destroyer, plus the three uh, other naval transports, so that I have four naval transports now in Season 24. Okay, combat phase. Let's go over to the dice. Zoom in on that. I don't think this is this isn't optimal. Sorry about this. It's very difficult to move this stand. This is what's involved if I want to show um, South African Union. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So, we have several attacks. The first one is Anum Tonkin, which is jungle. I have five first strikes at three. Jungle doesn't affect artillery. Uh, so five at three. And I'm going to re-roll this one. I, I do have one hit. Okay, so only one hit. And he also has a an artillery, so he gets a first strike at three. And he misses. So he'll take his artillery, because that only defends it at three plus it's already fired. Um, and then I have, let's see, one motorized infantry. Now that is only at a one, because motorized is affected by jungle minus two. So one at one, miss. And then I have how many at, at two? Because infantry is not affected by jungle. So I have thir 13, a total of 13, counting my seven infantry plus six Gurkhas. So let's roll. Uh, 7 at 2, and then we'll roll 6 at 2. I just need one more hit. One hit. Okay, I'm not going to continue rolling. I've got my two hits. Uh, then we will do his 1 at 4 with his infantry. Miss, I've, I've been getting lucky. Uh, so, okay, that's great. I don't really need luck there. I had so many units that could be taken as a casualty. Um, so Anum Tonkin is captured. I'm going to give it to the Anzac. They go up to 8, and Japan goes down to 49. All right. I will need some luck coming up here in maybe Transcaucasia. That's, that's the one I'm a little bit I'm kind of sketchy. I'm going in with just an infantry and an armor. Let's do Maharashtra. So I have two Gurkhas that are facing the river penalty on round one. So, so there's just two at one. Miss. And then I've got my jet. Uh, or let's do the cavalry at three. No penalty there. I didn't cross a river. I hit. Um, okay, I only needed one hit there. It's just a militia. And then the militia is one at two. Miss. Okay, so on these ones I don't really need luck for so far. I've been absolutely super lucky. And I, I think with one at two, one at three, and one at four, I would have expected to have one hit so far. Um, now, it's, uh, if the dice did have memory, I'd be in trouble because now we're coming to the Transcaucasia one where I, I don't have much. I've got an infantry that's attacking at only one because it's into mountains. Oh, it was almost a one. Um, and then I've got the one at five. The tank gets knocked down to a five. Come on. No, oh, uh-oh. This is, yeah, this is where I was due for some bad luck. Now, he has one at two um, with his airborne infantry. I don't know what I'm going to do if he hits. Okay. Miss. 
Let's go for another round. I've got one at one. The infantry at one. Miss. And then the key, one at five. Nope. And he's got the one at two. That's a bullet. Okay. Uh, one at one. One at five. Miss. One at two. God dang it, I'm due. Oh, God. Okay, one at one. That's no good. One at five. Oh, my God. One at two. Oh, finally. Well, what am I going to do? I'm, I'm going to go for it. Just, just watch me. This is going to end in disaster. Jesus, stupid tank. One at five. Oh, that's not... Okay, that's a five. Yep, okay, good. And then one at two. I have to face the one at two. I think that's cocked. I'm going to do that again. Whew. Okay. My God, what a disaster. Could not hit with that with that tank. It was, it was interesting because it was only when I rolled the black die that I did get a hit. So Transcaucasia is worth five. So I go up five for Britain and Germany goes down five. So Germany drops down to 68 and Great Britain goes up to 38. Okay. Let's look at what we have next. That was my most sketchy one. Istanbul, which is a mountain city. I have two battleship bombardments at four. First strike, one hit. And then two at three, because I've got a uh, battle cruiser at which does uh, bombardment at three, and a coastal defense ship, which does bombardment at three. Miss. Darn it. Okay. And then I think I have... Uh, Two heavy cruisers that, that bombarded a two. Pretty sucky. Miss. Okay, so I, I got one hit out of six. Uh, and I'm sure he'll take the... Well, he may not want to take the militia. He may want to take the artillery. Let's do his artillery shot. Um, miss. Okay, this is interesting. Would, would Panzer J take the artillery or would he take the militia? That's a tough question. I believe he's gonna take the the artillery. And Panzer, I, I'm, I apologize if that isn't what you would do. You just let me know and we'll, we'll do PBE to fix it. But the reason that I'm thinking you're gonna do the artillery is I have two at seven uh, and then like six or two yeah, six at one. So I think you're going to suspect that, well, that I'm going to do two hits. So you're going to want to keep your, your like, a total of two. One from the bombardment and one from all of that other stuff. So I think you're, you're going to definitely going to keep the infantry as the last hit. But suspecting that you're going to take two hits, you're going to take the artillery. Let me know if that was the wrong decision. Okay, now I've got... Uh, two that are at seven. So the the first one I'm going to do will be the tactical bomber, which has target select, because I could pick the infantry if I hit on a one, two, or three. Okay, I hit, but it's not a target select. And then the medium bomber is at seven. Another hit. So that's all I needed. Um, he has one at two. I made the right choice for you, Panzer J to have picked the artillery. Um, one at two, and then one at four. The red die is the one at two, and the yellow die is the one at four. Two hits. Oh, and that's double damage because it's an amphibious assault. So I lose two marine. That's, those are the units that I lose there. So my lucky start when I had all these uh, units that I could take as casualties, uh, ran into a brick wall there. I was, I was due for some amphibious losses. So that means that Great Britain captures Istanbul, which is worth two. Two up for, for uh, Great Britain goes up to 40. And two down for Germany goes down to 66. It would have been nice if I could have lowered Germany below America again. Um, that's what the mosquito likes to do, but I wasn't able to to do that to him this turn. Um, now I've just got Normandy. So in Normandy, 
He has two self-propelled artillery, which get first strike um, at three. Let's do his attacks. Oh, I guess I should do mine first. Then. I have uh, two... No, I only have one battleship bombarding at four. Hit. And then I have, I think, two at three from... Oh, I only get two bombardments. So one was a battleship, one's a uh, coastal defense ship at three. That's a miss. And he gets two first strikes with his two artillery at three. One hit. Okay, so I have to take the Marine, um, and then I have six aircraft at six, versus all I need is one hit, because I got a first strike, two, four, six. Yeah, okay, so he, he lost in Normandy. I took it with a single infantry. That makes me go up one for Great Britain, up to 41. It makes Germany tie with America at 65. So those two countries are tied for first place in industrial production. All right. Um, I think that's the end of all my combat. So now we have non-combat movement. Let's zoom the camera out. We have to come back here to see this attack or, or this movement that's in Australia. And we don't need to be so zoomed in. We can. Zoom out a bit and capture Australia, hopefully. Okay, so I'm going to have this one fighter that's in Queensland is going to fly over to Western Australia. I'll have one militia move from New South Wales up to Queensland. Uh, I'm going to have one militia one airborne infantry, two artillery, and one anti-aircraft artillery will move from Sydney up to New South Wales. And I'm going to rail one infantry from Sydney to Western Australia. Um, I'm going to have this, na this air transport, I don't know if that's on the screen, Yep, it is. I'm going to have this air transport is going to fly one, two, three to New Caledonia. Uh, let's see, where did I want to land that? Four, five. I'm going to land in Queensland. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Five. I'm going to land here in Western Australia. I'm going to change what I was thinking of doing. Instead, I'm going to land in Western Australia. Okay. Uh, let's move over here to capture... Oh, you can see, see Siam, no problem. I'm going to have these four infantry that are in British Malaya. They're going to move up to Siam. These six infantry... Is that on camera? Nope, that isn't. Let's get Calcutta in frame. Okay, so six infantry that are in Calcutta are going to move over to southern India. And this artillery that's in Benares is going to move over to Punjab. Oh, I captured... Uh, did I not do the Maharashtra fight? Maybe I, maybe I didn't. I, th I think I did. If I didn't, I'll use PBE, but no, no, I, he had a militia and, and he did not hit. Okay, so I don't know if I moved FEC up one for that. Um, I'll, have to, I'll have to think about that for just a second. I did not. I did not move. I hope I did that attack uh, in Maharashtra. Did I roll a jet at eight? Hmm. If I, why don't I do that right now? Uh, or I'll do it by PBE with my opponents. But I think I did it. <laughs> I can't remember. Let's go up one for FEC and down one for Japan. 
I'm pretty confident I'm going to be taking it if I didn't already roll it. Okay. Let's see. I moved the Calcutta, I moved the artillery. One jet fighter flies back from Maharashtra to Calcutta to land. Um, so in Maharashtra I have two Gurkhas and a cavalry, I think. Let's see. Next we need to get Turkey in frame. So I've got two anti-aircraft artillery and a medium armor that are going to move from cars over to Anatolia. I'm going to fly that medium bomber from Istanbul back to east, uh, eastern Egypt. I'm going to have that tactical bomber that was in Istanbul will land back on the on the light carrier or the yeah the light carrier in C zone 52. So it looks like I have four infantry and one anti-aircraft in Istanbul. And then in Anatolia, I have one medium armor and two anti-aircraft. These two naval transports that are in C zone 53 will go one, two, three, because there's a major port in Syria. And they are in C zone 79. Is that on? Is C zone? It's not 79. It's not on frame. Sorry about that. They're over there. They moved over there to C zone 79. Um, down in South Africa, which is really hard for me to get on camera, I'm going to move the cavalry that's in South African Union to Belgian Congo. One, two. Over to Belgian Congo. Uh, one, let's see, one naval transport that is uh, off the coast of Aquitaine is going to move up to Sea Zone 24 with the rest of the fleet. And just move over one space over to there. Um, I'm going to have the British submarine that's in Sea Zone 14. It, it used to convoy raid there, but uh, Knights Templars, Russian Armada is doing such a good job. It's going to come play a protective role, leave Sea Zone 14 and move to Sea Zone 25. Um, okay. Um, then, let's see. I'm going to have two infantry that are in the British Midlands are going to load up onto this American transport that's in C Zone 24. Those two infantry are on that transport now. Um, okay. Is there any other... Oh yeah, I'm going to have uh, two... One infantry from Scotland will move down to Northern England. Two infantry from Northern England will move down to British Midlands. Um, so this is an infantry chip here. Two Marines will move from London over to... Is this, is this on camera? Over to the British Midlands. Let me see if, if the London to British Midlands... Eh, could be a little bit better. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that, was, that camera won't move. So we'll have uh, two Marines move from London over to British Midlands. I don't know where I put that other... Oh, right here. Here it is. Uh-huh. And then these two infantry from London will move over to British Midlands. So just to review what currently is in London before the place units phase is two militia, two infantry, two anti-aircraft, three fighters, uh, and a strategic bomber. The, the three fighters, there were six fighters in Normandy, three of them fly to 
London, three of them fly back to British Midlands. And then to, let's to review what's in British Midlands. There's four infantry, three marines, two militia, two anti-aircraft artillery, two medium armor, and three fighters at the, at the current time. Okay, I think... Oh, I want to do one more... Uh, okay, I, I made a mistake earlier, and hopefully my opponents will not mind. Uh, earlier I said I moved all the transports over, um, but I only moved over... Uh, there was one here, and there were, there were four here. Three out of four moved over here. This one guy I wanted to hold back uh, for, and then I don't want to do the two infantry. God, I'm so messing this up. Okay. Didn't want to move this guy during this transport during combat movement. Didn't want to move these two infantry over to British Midlands. I want to pick up these two infantry during strategic naval movement with this one transport and move it down to C Zone 79 and drop those two guys off in Gibraltar. So Gibraltar has three militia, two infantry, two marines. As far as transports, since I messed that all up, I've got four naval transports in C Zone 24. I've got three in C Zone 79. I have two British in C Zone 52 and one Anzac in C Zone 52. I apologize for um, that confusion. I think I am ready to Oh, I know one infantry is going to rail from South African Union up to Anatolia. Uh, okay, and that leaves all that's in South African Union right now is one militia. Okay, place units phase. I am going to place up in London two Marines, one airborne infantry, and two regular infantry. Those are the five units that are going into London. Two Marines, two infantry, and an airborne. And then up in Northern England, I'm putting down an infantry, so there's two there now. And then in C Zone 24, that's where I'm placing my naval transport that I built. So now C Zone 24 has five naval transports. And then I am putting, I am, let's rotate down here. I'm putting one cavalry way down in South African Union. So I have a militia and a cavalry in South African Union. And then I'm putting two colonial infantry in Transjordan. And I'm upgrading one militia in Eastern Egypt. Uh, I'm going to upgrade that to a from a militia to an infantry. That was my upgrade. I hope my opponents will be okay with me adding in a non-combat movement. I see I didn't move my units in Iraq. Um, I have two, I have four infantry and two artillery there. I would like to move I'd like to move two hmm I'm going to have one infantry move to Azerbaijan, two infantry and two artillery will move to uh, cars, and one infantry will remain behind in Iraq. You know, in case he gets frisky with his uh, infantry that's in southern Iran, uh, he'll be attacking at two, I'll be defending at four, so... Hopefully that will dissuade him um, from going in there. Okay. Thanks for uh, allowing me to do that, opponents. Still on the place units phase. Okay, I've got some naval facilities. Over here, 
in the Pacific, what I'm doing is I'm starting construction in New Britain of a major dockyard. Is that on camera? Yep, sure is. And then I'm building a major port. I'm upgrading the minor port into a major port here in Gilbert Islands. That costs four. Okay, so that are, is all the place units for Great Britain. Now let's do FEC. So FEC is going to upgrade one uh, militia into an infantry here in Calcutta. So I'll remove a militia so I only have eight there and add in an infantry to Calcutta. I'm going to build an artillery there in Calcutta and I'm lend leasing um, this uh, fighter uh, to KMT. I'm going to swing it around here. There's You need to have three surface ships to stop me or a sub. Uh, and it goes into Quang Tung. All right. That is the placement of FEC. Um, placement of Anzac. I have a submarine. I'm building that in 146. And I'm building that rail line between Burma and Bengal. So now I have a contiguous line um, leading out of Calcutta. And then I saved too. All right. Uh, oh my gosh. I get to roll for wartime economy with the British. That it's ha happy days. So we're going to need two six-sided dice. Let's see what I get. Ten! Oh my gosh! Uh, I think Panzer J got an eleven. Uh, and then Boston Bruce got a twelve and I got a ten. It's a, it's a truly a day of Thanksgiving. Um, Great Britain collects 41, plus 3 for the Suez, plus 2 for no submarines uh, on my convoy lines. So that's 46, plus 10 is 56 for Great Britain. Okay, then FEC is at 8. Nope, that's Anzac, sorry. FEC's at 12, and I get two for having Aden in Eastern Egypt, so FEC is at 14. All right, and then Anzac is at eight. I need to, uh, I can't count the two for uh, having surface ships two away because Boss and Bruce was sneaky and put that light cruiser out there in season 143. Respect to you, uh, Boss and Bruce. So I only, oh, I had two saved. So I have 10. Anzac has 10 for next turn. And that concludes turn 15.4. Now we will go to Free France's turn 15.5. Free French purchases. I have 10 to spend. And I'm getting a fighter for 10. Uh, combat movement. I'm going to try in this attack in Tunisia because because Panzer J did this amphibious assault with these two infantry. So I'm going to move in just walking across this mountain border with one airborne infantry, which will only uh, be attacking at a one. It's not being airdropped. And then two infantry. I'm going to bring along this fighter to try to have some punching power. This isn't the best attack. Um, I don't have long-range aircraft, so if I tried to bring these fighters one, two, three, four, I I don't have enough. So uh, Panzer J kind of caught me. Uh, this is the, the best I can do. I could bring the mountain infantry, but I'm worried Panzer J will then attack 
uh, northern Algeria. Although, boy, I don't like this attack. He's got two at four. Um, hmm. I guess I could send a mountain over there. I'm really nervous about that. I, I think I'll just play it safe, even though I might have to retreat from this attack. Um, it won't be the end of the world, but if I lose my capital, that would be devastating. So I'll just play it cautious, which is my strength. Um, and that's my only combat, is the, the two infantry uh, and the one airborne infantry with the fighter versus two infantry at four. All right, so it's a mountain border, so on the first turn, my infantry will be knocked down to a one. So let's see what happens here. I've got two or three at one with my infantry. And then I've got the one at six. So, oh, I, I thought there was a seven. That's a one. I, I hit. Uh, that's really good luck for the French. And then I've got the one at six. Well, so I should have hit with a, I, I had much more, much more likely chance of hitting with the fighter. Uh, and then he's got the two at four. This is what can really hurt. Well, okay, so that's about even. What should I do? Should I take my infantry or should I take the airborne? I, I think I'm gonna, oh my. I think I'm gonna take the infantry and leave the airborne. We'll see if that turns out to be a mistake. I don't have the defending power with the airborne, but I don't. I don't think I should need to worry. All right, next attack. This time I'm attacking with my infantry at two. So I've got two at two, which are the red dice, and one at six, which is the blue die. I just need one more hit, and I got it. And now he has the one at four, because I hit once the first round. Okay, he missed. So I take Tunisia with the free French. Um, get out. Around L for that. So the Free French capture back Tunisia with one airborne and one infantry uh, defending. And I go up one with Free French 2 8. I'm tied with Anzac. And the, I guess the Germans. Oh! Ho ho! <laughs> okay, a Panzer J, happy Thanksgiving. I knocked you down below America again. Um, uh, that that is, I'm not a very good friend, especially that I that I experience joy <laughs> and delight in, in doing that to you, my friend. All right, um, let's see where I'm at. I, I did my combat. Now I've got non-combat. So let's look over here at cars. I've got an infantry and a cavalry in cars. Uh, let's see. Where did I want to move those? That doesn't make sense. Hmm. For some reason, I have uh, them moving to Transjordan. That does not make sense. I am not going to have them move to Transjordan. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll have this cavalry go to Istanbul, because it can travel through mountain. I'll have this... Hmm. I could, I could move that infantry into Transcaucasia and give my tank a little more defense. Hmm. Or I could move it to Trans or to Anatolia. Should have thought my turn through a little bit more. I apologize to my opponents. I think I'm going to move it to Trans Transcaucasia. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, and then this air transport in cars is going to fly one 
and pick up this airborne infantry in Azerbaijan, two back to here, three, four, five, six to northern Algeria. You couldn't see me counting, but I can make it here to, to northern Algeria and land there. Back there in cars, I have six fighters, and they can fly four. Uh, I'm going to have two of them fly four back to northern Algeria. Panzer J kind of got me scared about how vulnerable I've been kind of paring things down thinner and thinner, so I'm just going to play it safe. This fighter from... Can you see? No, no. Okay. The fighter that's in Tunisia is going to fly back to northern Algeria. So there's three fighters there in northern Algeria. Going back to cars, I've got the four fighters remaining. They're going to fly over to Istanbul and land to defend Istanbul. Um, let's see. I'm going to have the two infantry that are in Syria are going to move up to cars. That's what the two French infantry are doing. And I'm having uh, one infantry that is in eastern Egypt is going to rail to Istanbul. Okay. So let's see. The Free French, oh, placement of units, this fighter uh, gets placed in northern Algeria. So I have four fighters in Istanbul and four fighters that are in northern Algeria. Free France collects eight. They didn't have any saved, so that's what they have. They have eight. This is Global War 36 Enthusiast. Wishing everyone a happy Thanksgiving, especially to my opponents. It's just been a pleasure playing with you. And I'm turning this over to Panzer J and 15.6 Italy.